anybody else on the team from Southwest Ohio? Uh, I think we got most of our Ohio guys from Cleveland and Columbus. I think I might be the only date. Ben, how did it feel just to be out there on Saturday? You hit two field goals and just getting back out there and playing for the team. How did it feel for you? It felt it felt great. I mean, I love game day. I absolutely love game day. Um, it was a good team win all around. To get two kicks at the end of the game was awesome. First one from 50. You, you know, don't want it any other way than that. Um, and then to obviously bang that 50 yarder for the first kick of the year, that's, that always feels good. What did you uh, notice about the, the guys surrounding you when you were kicking off the coverage team? Uh, tremendous. I mean, um, I'm excited about our coverage team, uh, especially on the kickoff. I think it's going to be a great season. Coach Bra has a great plan for us. Um, and our guys are hungry. Like, you know, a couple of those, we just wanted to hang up to, uh, to force a return. And uh, first one they fair cut, the second one they brought out, uh, which was much later in the game. But uh, we're going to keep we're going to keep doing stuff like that, and, and uh, let our guys go make plays. I know the touchback line moved out to the twenty five a few years ago, but as a kicker who can do it, do you think strategically it just makes sense? Just keep as far as you can, take the touchback every time, just eliminate possibility of a return. Sure, I think a lot of it's situational, um, but we're more than capable of tackling tapping guys inside the twenty, inside the fifteen. Um, which is then the goal, you know. Like I've always said, Coach Bernowski's not not satisfied with just getting the ball in twenty five to the, to the opponent offense. So, um, you know, if we can get him inside the twenty, that's that's really our goal. We talked to you over this, I think, during camp about like how you measure the weather, prepare for that on a game day, like you're actually in the stadium. Like, can you prepare at all like, during the week? Like, do you know that it's going to be you know crappy weather day on Saturday? Can you like do anything kind of simulated to prepare for that? Yeah, sure. I mean, we anticipated some rain. Um, that's part of our routine, uh, routine every week. Uh, we get wet ball drills. Um, so Nico did a great job with that. Nico Crawford, the long snapper, he did a great job with that. Uh, we didn't have to hit any balls while it did rain, but the, you know, the field was still a little wet, the grass was a little wet. Um, but no, we prepared for everything. So whether it's you know, wind or, or rain, we have that preparation throughout every week just in case, because you never know. Did you give uh, Narguzzi a hard time for going for it on fourth down? Never. Never. Um, I know my kicks will come. Uh, when my name's called, I'll do my job. Um, and I like to be aggressive. I'm all about it. You know, I fit that aggressive play style too. So um, it worked out in our favor. And, and uh, if you wanted to do it again, you know, go ahead. When was the last thing he came up to you in, in a game and said, hey, can you make it from here? Like, does he even ask you that? Or has he ever asked you that? Um, no, I don't think a situation's ever come up uh, where they've asked that question. Pre-game, they'll get a line for me. Um, and it's usually different depending on direction, depending on wind and all that, you know, weather, like you said. Um, but usually it's it's 60, and then you know give or take we've got the win at our back. It could be 62, 63, but um, you know we're pretty much good. And you know once we cross the 50 yard line, you know let me know. 60 was the hit line last year. Is that back? Um, I don't think I'm kicking the ball any bigger than last year. Um, I think you know even last year uh, we were at Louisville. It was I think pregame hit 65. You know so it really just depends on, on, on what direction the wind's going and. Just putting the ball up in the air and letting it fly a little bit, um, but yeah, you know, if we get a situation like that this year, like I said, it, it'll depend on wind and all that stuff. But uh, say there's no wind, no weather, it's it's 60 comfortable. You know, if I'm feeling really good, maybe 62, 63. But um, you know, those kicks are so so rare. You just really focus on, on the ones that are fitting in. A lot of family coming to the game Saturday. Oh yeah, yeah, a lot of family, a lot of friends, a lot of family friends. Um, I got a lot of buddies um, that go to the University of Cincinnati, so. Uh, especially my senior year to go to, to a game that close to home is uh, is very special to me. So I'm excited to see all the familiar faces and, and uh, have a good game for them. How you recruited by Cincinnati at all? Yeah, I did a lot of uh, talking with them back in the day. It was Luke Fickle and uh, uh, the coordinator was Brian Mason. Um, and obviously they're elsewhere nowadays, but uh, really the guy who got me into kicking um, was the kicker there. His name was Cole Smith back in, gosh, I want to say like 2017 to 2020, he was the kicker there. I went to a camp in 2017, and uh, he DM'd me, and he's like, hey, if you ever want to train, let me know. You know, we think you're pretty good. And, and uh, ever since then, you know, he was uh, my first really mentor and trainer in kicking, and he introduced, introduced me to my coach, Adam Tanowski, who's up in Buffalo. Uh, and he'll be at the game, too, this guy, Cole Smith. So I'm excited to see him. He's working in Cincinnati nowadays because uh, his career was he, – he did his five years. Uh, but, no, it's, there's a lot of good memories there, a lot of good memories. Who is his turn? What's that? Did he give you a hard time? Did he play Cincinnati? No, because they, I mean, 
scholarships work differently with uh, specialists. Um, really, you know, every four years is when you get a scholarship the next guy up. Um, coaches are different or situations are different, but usually that's how it goes. Um, and at the time they had a guy and if I came in, I would be sitting for, you know, maybe two or three years, you know, just depending on the situation there. Um, so the offer was only ever a walk-on spot, but uh, uh, I knew the whole specialist unit. Uh, I can name them out, but I, I won't do that. Um, but like I said, there's a lot of good memories from, from Cincinnati. Would you, you like on scholarship, right? Yes, sir. Initially. Yeah, back in, in 20. What did you like from Ufa's first performance at Long Snapper? Was everything good on that? Was everything? Can you good? say that again for me? For Ufa, it was his first game as your Long Snapper. What did you? Was everything good on that end from his? Yeah, I mean Ufa did a great job. He, he handled the uh, Ufa handled the long snaps, so that was for punt. And then Nico Crawford oh, yeah. did all the short snaps, and, and Nico did a tremendous job. We had a lot of a lot of reps between uh, extra points and field goals. I think nine total reps, um, and all of them were meant. They were all perfect, and uh, that helps me with my job. I was curious, you know, I noticed some kickers line up at seven yards, some line up at eight. Is that a preference on the part of the kicker, or preference for the snapper? So are you saying like in regard to how far back the, the holder is from the spot? The ball's line up to 27 or 28. Yeah, so okay. yeah, that's a coach's preference. Um, we're eight yards, but to be honest, I mean, I, I would think we're eight yards, um, just because I go where the holder goes. Uh, I try not to think about that stuff at all, but uh, yeah, it just usually depends on, on the, the, the special teams coordinator. Oh, I also wanted to ask you, I mean, obviously you're focused on right here this week and, and all these things, but obviously there's there's the future, and I'm sure you've you know, envisioned a professional career for yourself. Have you looked at this kickoff rule in the NFL? Of yeah, Cuba? it's what it's very think? unique. Um, like you just said, I really do take it all one day at a time. If the opportunity presents itself going down, um, then great. But uh, it's a unique rule. I, I'm excited to see what they do with it because it's, it's, it's new this season, so... Um, there's going to be a lot of new ideas, and then it'll continue to evolve, too, um, as the years go by. But I think we're going to see a lot of creativity this season. And um, you might even see position guys kicking off. I mean, who knows at this point, you know, just to get another guy down the field and make a tackle. Um, but, no, it'll be very interesting. It'll be fun to watch. Thanks so much.